What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and today we're looking at a projector known as the Anchor Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K, which might just be the best portable projector I've seen so far. Now I've reviewed tons of laser projectors, but considering most portable projectors don't usually use lasers, I think this one should be interesting. And if you're not familiar with Anchor, they make all sorts of cool tech products, from projectors to cameras, smart home products, chargers, cell phone accessories, and all sorts of cool stuff. I think this is actually the first time I've reviewed an Anchor product on the channel, and I want to thank Anchor for sponsoring today's video and sending this out for me to give my opinion on it. So in the box you get a power cord, some documentation, a small Android TV dongle which we'll talk more about later, an Android TV voice remote, and of course the projector itself. Now the first thing I noticed was obviously the large handle on top of the projector, which is the biggest indicator that this is a portable projector. And aside from its shape, another thing that stands out is the bright red ring around the front lens. And surrounding this lens are a few sensors which are used for autofocus, auto keystone correction, and the eye protection sensor. Sensor. The top has the handle as well as a few buttons. You have the power button near the back, and there's also a few capacitive buttons including a configuration button as well as navigation and volume controls. The sides of the projector are reserved for the fans to keep things cool as well as the built-in speakers. The bottom has a quarter inch hole which can be used for a tripod mount, and on the back you'll find a few ports including the power jack, an HDMI 2.0 input, USB port, and a stereo output that can be used for external speakers or headphones. And right above the ports is a small door, and sliding the door reveals the hidden compartment for the Android TV dongle. So all you do is plug it in using the exposed cables, push the dongle into its secured space, and close the door. Okay, so aside from being portable, what else is this projector bringing to the table? Well, it has a native 4K resolution using pixel shifting. Its laser light engine produces up to 2400 lumens while covering over 100% of Rec. 709. It has automatic horizontal and vertical keystone correction, autofocus, built-in eye protection, and screen fit technology which allows it to automatically conform to your screen. It can produce a 100-inch screen from around 9 feet away, and it supports screen sizes from 60 up to 100. 150 inches. And the projector has two 10 watt as well as two 5 watt built in speakers, which I'll talk about a little bit later. And it supports HDR10 as well as 3D for you 3D lovers out there. All right, so how was the setup? Well, once I got the Android TV dongle installed, I just set it on a stand, got it on Wi-Fi, and went through the Android TV setup, which was cake. Android TV is one of my favorite platforms, and the performance from the dongle was nice and snappy, and I didn't run into any issues. I was able to stream 4K HDR movies without any buffering or stuttering, and the voice control on the remote worked great. So once I got everything set up, the first thing I did was put on some football since I figured this would be a good use for it. And while displaying a 100 inch image, it was bright enough to fight off some ambient light if you were to put it in a living room. I did notice that out of the box in standard mode that the image did have a blue hue to it, which is good for cutting through ambient light, but in a dark room, you'll probably want to at least switch the color temp to warm. So after a few color tweaks, I was impressed that it still maintained a good amount of brightness after cutting out some of the blue. I was also impressed by the color color vibrance from this projector. The colors pop just like you would expect from a higher end laser projector, and it works great for SDR content like sports and TV shows. Aside from its brightness and vivid color, the coolest part of this projector is how seamless the autofocusing system works. Every time I moved it, it auto-focused and nailed the focus on the screen every time. It also could sense when it was tilted and automatically adjusted the keystone to straighten out the image. Now this isn't the first time we've seen a projector with these features, but I was impressed by how consistent and accurate the system was, which is great for people who aren't tech savvy or familiar with setting up a projector. You don't really need a screen or anything special to get this thing up and running. You can just sit it on the floor aimed up at the wall, on a coffee table or pretty much anywhere and it'll adjust the image to fit your space. Now, as I always say, I do recommend avoiding keystone correction when you can, as it does have a negative impact on image quality and sharpness in certain situations, but if you're looking for a quick temporary setup, the auto keystone feature works wonders. And considering this projector supports HDR10, of course I had to test out some 4K HDR content as well, and it fared far better than any other portable projector I've tested. It does a pretty good job with tone mapping and the detail from this projector is 
stunning. Even though I would have liked a little more shadow detail and the black levels weren't the greatest, the overall image looked great. So after testing out 4K HDR, I was really eager to test out some gaming, and as I expected, games look fantastic on this projector. The brightness and vivid color make for a great gaming experience. Now with 54 milliseconds of input lag in game mode, it's not gonna be fast enough for any highly competitive gaming, but it'll work just fine for some casual games. And considering how long it's been since I've tested a 3D projector, I was eager to blow the dust off my 3D glasses and test it out. And the 3D from the Nebula Cosmos 4K looked really good. 3D requires a good amount of brightness and this projector handled it well. There was a good depth to the image and the image wasn't super dim like it is from some other 3D projectors. All right, so moving on to speakers where I had a nice surprise. The speakers from this projector provide a nice full range sound with more bass than I expected. Now they're not crazy loud, but they're super clear and certainly loud enough for movies or TV shows. And as far as projector noise, even though I could hear the fans with the projector sitting about five feet away from me, they weren't terribly distracting, especially considering how good the speakers are. So I think it's safe to say that the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K is a great portable projector that checks a lot of boxes, but as I always say, no projector is perfect, so what are the things I think could be better? Well, first let's start with the price. With the retail price of $2,200 or $2,000 when it has a sale or coupon, this is a very expensive portable projector, and it might even be the most expensive. Now, yes, you're getting quite a bit for your money, but it's certainly meant for people with deep pockets. And aside from the price, I do wish the included remote was a bit more functional. The remote works great for powering the projector on and off and controlling the included Android TV interface, but I wasn't able to control the projector menu from it. The only way to make changes such as changing picture modes or switching inputs was to use the capacitive buttons on top of the projector. Now this really isn't a deal breaker or anything and you can easily control the projector settings using the Nebula app on your phone, but I do think it's worth mentioning. And when it comes to image quality in a dark room, I do think it could have have slightly better black levels even though it performs significantly better than other portable projectors. Now even though it does have better image quality than most portable projectors, this really isn't geared towards a dedicated home theater installation. Considering its portability, brightness, and vivid color, I think it's a great portable option for a living room space, outdoors, bedroom, or pretty much anywhere with a large flat wall. It has great color brightness, a super sharp image, great speakers, and they even threw in 3D. So if you're looking for a portable projector that can outperform even some ceiling projectors, then the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K might be exactly what you're looking for. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new videos. And I do have a few more videos coming up. I've actually got the four movie theaters sitting right here. I've been testing that out, so that video is gonna be coming up. I'm also gonna be doing the Epson LS 11,000 and 12,000 and a few others. So again, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.